So I'm here today in Dr. Marwan Saifi's clinic in Wroclaw, Poland. Uh, Dr. Marwan Saifi is a hair restoration surgeon and I've had three hair transplants under Dr. Marwan Saifi. In today's video, I'd really like to talk about my personal experience throughout this journey because it's been a multi-step process and it's been ongoing now uh, since age 23. When I think of hair restoration surgery, I really consider it crafting one's identity. Now, often uh, in nature, we, we don't always get what we want. And this is where hair restoration surgery can come in. It's not necessarily about just replacing what is lost, but sometimes it's about building a canvas that is appropriate and significant in terms of matching your aesthetic. This is, after all, it aims to enhance. It is a significant surgery that enhances your aesthetic. It is not just for those who have lost their hair and want to reclaim. This is pretty much my case. Now, my first surgery was an FUT. The purpose of that was a little bit of both. I had lost a marginal amount of hair because I was quite proactive. And as soon as I lost my hair, a little bit, I mean, I went on to medical therapy and then I started my research into choosing a hair restoration surgeon. In that operation, what we aimed to do was rebuild and then go a little bit beyond and design a slightly forward hairline. This was via the strip technique, so donor preservation was taken into account. I love FUT and I want to preserve my donor in the best shape possible. In total, I have had two FUTs and an FUE. But let's go back a little bit. Why did I pick Dr. Saifi? Living in Europe, I have many, many surgeons to choose from on my doorstep. Some of them are very, very experienced. But I was after the surgeon with the most experience, who could do the best strip, the best FUE, who did one case per day, who was the most experienced. This was very obviously Marwan Saifi. He is an ISHRS fellow and an ABHRS diplomat, essentially as par excellence as they get. It was very obvious as well from looking at the post-operative pictures and patients, their results, they were very significant and transformative. So after I did my strip procedure, I lived with that very happily for three years, but then I was back for more because there was a vision here and it's a multi-step process. In my second surgery, three years later, we did FUE of a thousand grafts. And in that surgery, we really focused on the temporal peaks. Because the temporal peaks, when they are addressed, I never had any to begin with. It wasn't a matter of um, replacing something that was lost. It was completely building something that wasn't there. And the temporal peaks, really give framing to a face. They give focality to the facial features and enhance them. The second surgery, after we did the FUE, I then waited a further, I think it was about two or three years until doing my most recent surgery. Now currently I'm actually just over three months post-operative. I did a strip again, and this was really the game changer. In this surgery, what we did was we brought the hairline forward a little bit but really brought out the temporal peaks and the aim was i suppose really my version of getting the identity that i really wanted and that is sharp temporal peaks that contour the eyebrows and really frame my face because this is totally case dependent and really it can sometimes take a couple of shots to really get the kind of framing you're after that works best so in this case, we also incorporated regenerative medicine into it in the form of Plasmafy, which is topical PRP. It is the first of its kind to be used in hair restoration surgery. This is where the patient, as in myself, my blood is taken, it's centrifuged, and then it is mixed with another solution to prolong the plasma, which is my own. The topical PRP, can be refrigerated, it has a shelf life of six months. You keep it at home in your fridge, but typically a bottle of it, you'll use it in about a month. And I was putting it in the post-operative period around my FUT incision, 
as well as around the temporal peaks. The aim is to expedite the healing and the growth timeline. In conjunction with this, because you have to do multiple things, one isn't enough, we incorporated exosomes. Now exosomes, which again is a form of regenerative medicine, serve to do a similar thing. They're cell to cell modulators, essentially. But what we find they do is in hair restoration, when we incorporate them into it, they also improve healing and the overall growth and really give you an optimal result that is as much as possible when you incorporate them into it. I'm actually having exosomes done today. So again, I'm back for more because I want to throw as much as this as possible. Each surgery is a unique event in your timeline. You want to have the very best possible. And this is again why I'm back with Marwan today. In terms of my own regime, one thing that is very important to me is my scalp's health. And for my scalp's health, for the last four to five years now, I've been using the CR Lab product line. This aims to keep basically everything in balance. Sebum levels keep inflammation down. Those who suffer from a dry scalp keep it hydrated. The products are incorporated uh, with a lot of um, nutraceutical derived components. What we find often in very much shampoo products in the standard supermarket shelf is they're not actually very good for your hair uh, because again they're synthetic, the pH is off. The CR Lab products are pH balance. They really are top quality and I'm delighted to again have been using them for the last few years. So this is my case where I am at the moment. Hair loss as we know is progressive. It's because it is progressive, there's always stuff you can do to, do to improve your situation. You are constantly really going against it and trying to um, improve via surgery and scalp health.